Hey, what's up YouTube, down the Fix-It Man. Got another quick video here for you. This company, Olight, sent me their O-Clip light and I just wanted to do a quick little unboxing and review video for you. That is tiny. Very cool. We need to fully charge the battery before first use. So we'll go ahead and get this plugged in and get it charged up. Here's the USB-C port on the side. Just peel back this little rubber cover and let's go get that plugged in and we'll come back and see how this light looks. All right, well, there it is. It's all charged up and ready to go. Now, one of the things I like about this light is that it's a clip. I mean, the name of it, O-Clip, this will clip on just about anywhere. I was kind of thinking this will clip on nicely just to the outside of your tool bag or this will clip onto a hat just like that. And you can see what you're doing or what you're working on with your hands. This will also clip onto your shirt pocket or collar or anything like that. I mean, it's a nice solid clip. They say that they ran this clip test for 10,000 cycles and it's got no fatigue and it still worked great. If you look carefully at the profile here, this has also got a little space in there. So that will clip onto like a backpack strap or something like that as well. Now, before we turn this on, I want to show you one more thing. You also have a hole here in the clip handle so that you can put a, like a little mini carabiner like this or a lanyard in there put that on a keychain or anything like that. Now this is shipped in locked mode, meaning if somebody were to just push the button to turn it on, it's not gonna turn on. So in order to unlock it, you need to press and hold that side button. Now the first mode that it's gonna go on is moonlight mode, and that is not very bright. That is just the initial moonlight mode. This brightness level, I don't think I'll use very much, but maybe if you were camping and just wanted to put this inside a tent, like up in a little basket, just for a little bit of ambient light, or if you're just reading something up close at night, that would be fine. But uh, to cycle through the different brightness settings, you just press and hold that side, same side button, and it will cycle through low, medium, and high. There's high, wow, that's very bright. It's not even dark out yet, but that's extremely bright. This is 300 lumens for the first minute on the highest setting. If you're on high, this will be at 300 lumens for one minute. After a minute, this is gonna drop down to 180 lumens for 60 more minutes of duration. If you go to the medium setting, this will be 100 lumens, and that's good for a duration of 90 minutes. And then we'll go into high and then low. Now, if you're just on the low setting, this is 10 lumens, and that will last for 12 hours. Again, if it's dark, you could use this on low, and I, I think you'd still be able to see what you're doing. You know, depending on what you're working on or what you're doing, if it's really dark outside, you might want to use this on a lower setting. I mean, for me, most of the time I'm going to use this probably on high or on the highest setting. And uh, if I'm working on a car or underneath a, a sink or anything like that, an attic or a crawl space, I'm sure I'll probably put this on the highest setting. Really just love that little, that clip feature, that clip on feature, just clip that to your hat or on your work bag just wherever you're at. I mean, there's just all kinds of possibilities. This clip is also magnetic. You know, if you're under a hood or working on a car or even under a sink, a lot of times you'll find a piece of metal that you can just stick that to. So let's go see how that works. Yeah, that's perfect. It just, that's a strong enough magnet there too. That would work great. Now, another feature that's pretty cool about this light that I liked is that this also has a red light feature. So when the light is on, you can double click the button and that will go into the red light mode. Now this right now is red light flashing, but if you press and hold the button, that will go into red light solid. Now, when you've got the red light solid, this is four lumens and that'll last for five hours. I love this red light flashing feature because I mean, you can clip that on your shirt collar, on your belt. And if you're riding a bike or running or jogging at night, it's like a perfect little tail light and allows other drivers or other people to see you out on the road. Now, this also has two more settings. They're almost like little hidden features. When the light is turned off, if you press the button three times quickly, you'll go into strobe light mode. Check that out. And we can just turn that off. Now, if the light is on, whether it be on on the white light or on the red light, if you press the button three times quickly while the light is on, it's gonna go into what's called beacon mode. So let's do that. It's about every five seconds, it just flashes in beacon mode and then just press that again and it's off. Now, in order to lock the light again, so for example, if you're traveling with this or if you've got it in your tool bag and you don't want it to accidentally turn on, press and hold the side button and it'll go moonlight on and then it'll go off. Now it's locked again. So watch this, if we press that, nothing happens. You have to press and hold again to turn the moonlight mode back on and then now the light is unlocked. So you can turn it off, on, in moonlight mode 
and or you can cycle through the different brightness settings, low, medium, high. Well, it's a perfect little work light. It's actually a lot more than I expected as far as the, the brightness and the power and the convenience. I love that it's got that magnet. This actually even sticks to the metal on the bag here. But I'll probably just, just keep this as kind of like an everyday carry clipped here on the side. And I'm sure I'll use this on a lot of jobs under sinks or up in attics or crawl spaces. Here's just a few shots that I took at night so you can see what it looks like. That is really impressive. You know, GoPro doesn't pick up light very well at night and I don't have any other lights on. So this is just this light right here. I mean, this would be great to take camping or fishing. You know, if you need hands-free, if you're tying a line or something. So cool that you've got a nice little light right under your hat, and that's really gonna light up your hands or anything that you're working on. Well, super cool little light, very happy. I mean, so powerful for that little size. I mean, look how look how small that is. Really a lot smaller than I expected even when this sh was shipped to me from Olight. Really happy that they did reach out and uh, just wanna say thanks to Olight for sending this to me. Now, these would make a great stocking stuffer or a great gift for anyone this holiday season. I'll get a link in the description where you can pick up this exact same light. Olight was also kind enough to give me a coupon code, then I'll put that here on the screen, but I'll also put that in the description for you. It's DTFIM12, and that will get you 10% off site wide on anything that's not on sale. This, again, is something I wouldn't even have thought of. You know, just by looking at it, I didn't really think much of it. Honestly, even when they asked me if I would do a review on this little light, I thought, yeah, sure, it might be kind of nice to have on the tool bag. I'm blown away at how bright this is, and it definitely exceeded my expectations. I mean, I am excited. If you can't tell in my voice, I'm very excited about this. It's way brighter than I expected, and I just love this little compact size. The high setting on this light is truly impressive. I mean, look how bright that is. And it definitely does throw. You can see way down there, it's lighting up the stop sign and some of the other street signs as well. I hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't mind. That does help me out. Thanks so much for watching and good luck.